Hey guys! Now remember the other day when I went for that ride and did that big gravel ride that turned into not such a big gravel ride and I got up at 3.30 in the morning and my tyre was flat. Check out the video up here if you haven't seen it, definitely check that out. I have learnt so much about tubeless tyres. I used to think that this here was all filled with goop, like this goopy stuff and so instead of the air this had goop in it so then you just didn't get punches. But then if you did get a big puncher all the goop came out and you had to replace all the goop. But that's actually not what happens. I learned about this the other day on the gravel ride. This here is filled with air and you've got some goop stuff that goes in it and it just floats around and then when you get a puncher the goop goes to where the hole or the puncher is and it seals it and then you can carry on riding. It's really cool. So the other day when I had that puncher the tire went completely flat um, and then I just left the bike sitting there and that's why it didn't, um, it just stayed flat because what you need to do is spin it, spin it around and around and then the goop while it's spinning will find where the hole is and then go to it and seal it. So I was like, well, how come? Because I was like, why didn't it like seal after I pumped it up? But then after Dave pumped it up, it sealed it. It's like, because you've got to spin it so the goop goes there. Um, back in New Zealand, this was years and years ago, um, where you used to get like, um, if you had an oil leak or something like that, and somebody said, put some black pepper in there. And then the black pepper goes to where the hole is and seals it. So your oil stops leaking out. So it's the same concept. It's the same concept. I don't know if you guys have heard of that, but it's actually a really cool little um, hack for your, <laughs> your car. Maybe it's a Kiwi hack. But yeah, it's really cool. So I don't know what this goop looks like. I've never put the goop into the tires, but I'm. that's gonna be the next phase. I'm gonna get some goop and I'm gonna test it out and see what it's like to put the goop into here. So this thing isn't full of goop. It's just got a bit of goop floating around. You get a puncher, you go, you pump it up, spin it around, the goop goes to the hole, seals it. Hey presto, that is so cool. I've heard that stands is the best um, goop to use. And I don't know if goop's the right word, but, it's, <laughs> but I've heard that stands is the best goop to use. Um, I've had a couple of people say that. I don't know if it is the best, so tell me in the comments. Um, let me know what you use. What's the best goop to use for your tubeless tires? Um, and I'm gonna do another video and I'll show you what the next stage is and what the next thing is that I've learned. But this is really cool. I think, I, I really like this idea of tubeless. I don't know what happens when something goes seriously wrong with it. Um, I did take a tube out. Apparently you do take tubes out with you because um, you need to have that as a backup because you don't carry the goop with you apparently. But you guys can let me know, those who are a bit more experienced with the, the goop and tubeless. Um, but yeah, I think this is really cool. And I just thought there's probably a few of you out there like me who don't know and have never sort of really known or understood what this is like. Um, but trust me, it's got to be much better than getting a little puncher and having to stop, take out the tube, put another tube in, carrying spare tubes with you. If you don't have to do that, you get a tiny little puncher, it just seals it for you. How cool is that? So yeah, and Stephen over in the UK, yeah, I put a comment on your Strava because we were talking about this. So um, it was you that inspired me to do this video. So hello. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh. <laughs> Come on, say hello. Come on. <laughs> You're so cute. What breed is it? Oh, we're not sure, but we reckon he's a chihuahua or something cross. Yeah, he seems like this one. Like a terrier. Hello. Yeah, he's got a lick. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Yeah, he's trying to be brave. Yeah, he's he is. Brave. <laughs> that was really cool. How cute is that? <laughs>